Welcome back, guys. Before I can set the game running, and uh, we're going to be running it on fast because I want to get all of this, all these, all these defences done. A um, couple of things I want to do very quickly. First thing, we need to name Virgil. Virgil, you are going to be named. One of my patrons wrote to me, and hey, you know, my patrons look after me. I try to look after them. So Paul is uh, is going in, and he wanted me to use his gaming name, which is Premier Two K. We're just going to call him Premier. So there you go, boom. Paul, you're in. Thanks for your support, mate. It's very much appreciated. Uh, the next thing, these coolers, these coolers need to be rehooked up because the the power got disconnected over here. So, but am I just going to put that back in? No, because I actually want to put a gun in here, and it was like the gun exploded and, and destroyed this. So what we'll do is we'll we'll run the cable up there like that. So. Uh, and seeing as Big Ron is standing next to it, Big Ron is, um, you're a constructor, yeah, but Big Ron can do it. Let's get Big Ron to do this. There you go, Big Ron. Go grab some steel, get that sorted out. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to micromanage him and make sure that he actually finishes it. Ah, see, he's done one and then gone away. Right, no. Do that one and do that one. And do that one. And that one. And one, two more. One more, two more. There you go. I think that might be it, actually. Let's have a look. Power. Oh, I was already on power. Oh, no, there's one down there. One down there. So, that one. And that should be... Our cooler's back online. Yes, our coolers are back online. So now we can refreeze our food and it won't all go to waste. Excellent. Right, at that point, I think uh, I think we're safe to... Oh, no, hang on. There was one other thing I wanted to do, and that was joy. Um, and especially with Bickety, because Bickety being very neurotic. Is he very neurotic or just neurotic? Yeah, he's very neurotic. Um, which puts his mental break threshold quite high, especially with too smart as well. I mean, that's 12% and 14%. So that's 26%. So even though, if we look at his knees, like, it, like okay, his mood looks pretty good, it's 54%. But he's going to, uh, there you go. He, his, his minor break threshold is like 61%. So he could have, have a break now, right? So we need to give him like, some extra joy in his life to keep him like um, happy so what we're going to do we're going to go to uh, now we're going to go to restrict and we're going to make sure everybody gets a couple of hours of joy and Bickety will give him an extra couple of hours in the afternoon um, say four and five Right, to hopefully try and keep his threshold up a bit. And I'm going to keep my eye on other people because, for example, Artie. Artie's been getting very upset because his brother Stumpy died. And we look at this. He's at 37. He can have a break at 35. So he's only like 2% above his break threshold. So, yeah. I wonder, maybe at least for a while, if we shouldn't give him a bit of where's Artie there's Artie uh, let's give him a bit of extra joy in the afternoon as well we've got the thing is like right now we've got the people right we just need to keep them happy and much better for them to like spend a couple of hours getting some joy than spend half a day wandering around in a daze so colonist needs treatment oh that's the flu poor old Chris has got the flu how you doing with it you're getting over it. Let's see. Yeah, minor, untreated. She's uh, she's a 63% immune now. So she'll... As long as she keeps getting a treatment, she'll be fine. Same with everybody else. Uh, Nanny, Toby, Bickety, they all need treating for the flu. How's Nanny getting on? Well, she's, 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 she's in bed with Dr. Sky. She should be fine. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, immunity, 68%. She's fine. It's minor. And it's treated, so it's all good. Uh, we've got Toby and Bickety are in poor moods. But tomorrow morning, Bickety will start his day by going and getting some joy. So that should 
hopefully get him up. Oh. Um, yeah, Bickety's really stressed. Toby, Premier, Premier needs... Let's have a look at Toby and Premier. Let's see if we can get on top of this a bit. So, let's have a look. Needs. Oh, yeah, he's not good. Oh, his sister Beatrice died. Um, okay. Oof, yeah, he could, he could really go. Do we give him some extra joy while because of his sister? What about now? Why is Premier upset? All right, Toby, we'll do you. And where's Premier? Premier, God, he's pretty blooming and happy. He's got some cabin fever. That's what's up with him. Um. Where are you? Oh he's, oh, he's in bed. He's just got into bed. So I could... Can I tell him to go and use the telescope? I can't. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Restrict. So we'll have Toby. Where are you, Toby? Toby, yeah, you can get a bit extra. And I guess Premier will give you a couple of hours extra as well. Try and try and get these people to cheer the hell up. Now, one other thing that we can do to cheer them up would be to put lighting around the base, but I kind of wanted to not do that for a while because I want them to do all the other freaking construction first. Um, you know what? Now we've dealt with that, let's focus on this over here. Oh, now I do want this area to get filled up with stone blocks. So... Let's um, let's get these, haul these, and and haul these. There we go. Right, that should fill that up. I would have thought. Now we've got this airlock going up over here. Oh look, there's Chaos the cat. Just demonstrated that for me nicely. Thank you, Chaos. Oh, he's going to demonstrate it again. Oh, we've researched uh, the IEDs. Let's do mortars next. Have we got the artillery shells yet? No, we still haven't got the artillery shells moved down there. Oh, well, maybe one day. We need an airlock over here as well. Um, so I think what we're going to do... What's this, by the way? Oh, this is just slate. How... Like, the thing I'm, I'm looking at... I think, okay, how do I want to do this airlock on this side? Like, do I want to put an airlock going through there? Like, sideways? Or do I want an airlock going up there? I'm kind of really tempted to put an airlock going up there. It would be kind of nice. And we can get rid of this stupid irritating wall as well. In fact, I'm going to do that now because this wall just irritates me. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I think we have an airlock maybe going up here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So, guys, uh, where's orders? Mining. Gonna mine through there, which I should imagine they'll probably be onto pretty quickly. Uh, we'll put a granite wall. Now, do I need to go all the way across to there? I kind of don't, but I'm gonna just to make it look neat. So we're gonna put a granite wall all the way along there, and then I'm gonna want a granite wall. Let me extend it at both ends. Uh, kind of like that. So we're going to want Plasteel Auto Door. One, two, three, four, five. That would give us six. Six is probably enough to make it an, an, an unattractive idea to break through here rather than go through here. So, yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. We'll see. I'm kind of sort of... No, no. I'm, what I'm looking at is the angle from this turret up to here. I want to make sure that they can't put a sniper in here and snipe this turret. Who's gone freaking berserk? Lemon Premier, I've just given you loads of joy. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, what? Okay, Natalie. Uh, let's draft you. You've got a personal shield. Yeah, beat him up. Who else can help? Um, no, not Toby. He's an old man. <laughs> God, God said Toby to do it. 
And of course, there's nobody else around here to help. How about, I want to, you know, Bickety. I don't really want to disturb him. Uh, Toby's in a daze. God, adding that joy in didn't really help too much, did it? Oh, who else could help out? Like, the best is like, well, no, the thing is, little Sarah's got a, um, got a knife. Ideally, we'd want somebody like with a club. Uh, Chris, Chris is just resting. You know what? I, I think it's got to be Chris, really. I mean, I could say Big Ron, I suppose. You know what, Big Ron. Big Ron, go and, go and take care of this for me. So draft him and melee attack him, go. But Natalie might be able to take him down on her own because she's got a personal shield. Go on, Natalie. Here comes Big Ron. Oh, no, Natalie got taken down. Come on, Big Ron. You could do it. Big Ron will do the job. Boom, yes, good job. Right, Big Ron. Uh, rescue Premier. And who can rescue Natalie? Come oh, dear. <laughs> uh, Toby. Toby, rescue Natalie. Oh, what, you can't? You can't, apparently. It's like, seriously? Why, why can't you... He can't haul us. Oh, he's in a psychotic state. That's why. Um, what about Chris? I don't really want to disturb Chris. Chris needs to rest. Uh, who the hell else is around? Artie. Yeah, Artie would do. Artie. He's coming down here anyway. Rescue Natalie. Go. All right. Uh, so that's that. And that. Okay, here we go. God, these, these mental breaks, when they happen, are really bad. Where's Artie going? He's going? Oh, hang on. Oh, he's taking her back to Natalie's bedroom, which I suppose is fair enough. Okay, carry on. Uh, let's speed things up a lot. How are we doing on the defences, is the question. Uh, oh, what the hell? Colonist needs rescue? Who? Oh, Natalie. Well, I assume Artie's going to... No. Prioritise treating Natalie. Yeah, get on with it, Artie. He was going to go and have a meal. She's dying, for God's sake. Look, she's had the crap kicked out of her. Oh, she's up and about now. Oh, she, uh, she's like, I'm into hospital. I'm not feeling well. Look at all of this. Yeah, Artie's on the job. He's going to get her sorted out. He's going to treat all these nasty bruises and stuff. But it's not its not life-threatening. She'll be fine. Right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look over here. Oh, they've mined through this. Pause. Eh, actually, not pause. Not pause. Plasteel doors. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Cool. They've got the, the blocks. I hope they're using those blocks to actually build some walls. <laughs> Would be nice. Still a whole lot of wall building that needs to go on. Uh, let's check the work. Yeah, sky set for c construction. Uh, Brandywine's cooking. We need to leave her alone. Uh, Nanny, no. Chris, no. Creepy Sam, not really. Uh, Vortex is too slow. Creepy, not really. We've got all these guys set to construction. What about Premier? Yeah, there's no reason he shouldn't do some construction. You know what? Do some construction. Get your construction skill up a bit. Who's in a freaking poor mood now? Now, hang on. Okay, Toby needs to be treated. Fine. And um, Toby's starving. Uh, he's still wandering around. Uh, he'll collapse soon. Let's unforbid his hat. We want a battery breakdown. Oh joy. I, I really need to get to work on the batteries. The thing is there's so many things that need to get done. I mean this is very ambitious, this whole thing. This is very ambitious. 
Here's the thrombos. We're never going to try, try, uh, tame these thrombos. The people who were saying, oh, tame the thrombos, tame the thrombos. You are kidding, aren't you? <laughs> Seriously, you've got to be kidding. The, the, the tame chances are so low on them, but we'll give it a try. I mean, really, I could do with the silver. I should kill them, but I'm not going to. Um, that, I suppose, we should unforbid so that I don't get hauled away and burned. Oh, now what? Oh, and now we're going to raid. Oh, it's a group of tribes people, but boy, are they in trouble. Jump to location. Oh, this is going to be fun. It's a damn shame that we didn't have this set up, but look how many there are. Man, I tell you what, this is not necessarily going to be that easy. Um, to the point where Sky, Brandywine, and... Hunter Billico. Yeah. I'm going to draft you three. Come out. Uh, come out there. Go. Oh, one of them's going to come around that way. That's pretty stupid. Who's coming around that way? Brandywine. Brandywine, don't do that. Come over here. Bing. Come out. There we go, that's better. Okay, these guys are getting, like, pretty much slaughtered. Yep. But they're not giving up. Here we go. Hunter Billico is going to join in. Uh, except that they're all getting killed and there's nothing for it to do. <laughs> okay, so that was pointless. I thought they might need a bit of help, but apparently not. So you guys will just undraft. Well, actually... We'll undraft you. We'll undraft you, but there might be some survivors. Oh, we've got some survivors. We've got we've got Monkey. You any good? You worth recruiting? Abrasive Slowpoke. No. And Biko. Let's have a look at you. You are... You can do anything. You're heat tolerant and you're a nudist. Uh, do we want a naked woman wandering around the base? I think we probably do. So... Yeah, Sky, where are you? Sky, rescue Biko, or capture Biko. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, there's two women, I think. They're Olga. No, she's dead. No, she's dead. Okay, well, fine. Um, there's no other. God, look, there were so many of them. It's a pity we couldn't have pulled them in. If we'd had these walls, this could have been, like, a serious slaughter. Um, all right, so... Let's um, let's unforbid some of this stuff. So, let's see. Uh, unforbid. Ooh, I wonder... We might just nail him, you never know. We might just get him. Maybe not. Let's unforbid all of these weapons. And... Oh, come on. Unforbid that. Anything else to unforbid? No, I don't think there is. I think we got everything in one go. So, monkey, we're just going to leave. Like, like, why would we bother to even do anything? I don't want to make friends with the with the uh, with the tribes people particularly. So we'll just uh, we'll just leave him to bleed out. I think. He's, no, he's definitely not worth recruiting. Oh, she. Sorry, female. Uh, no, we're definitely not going to recruit her. What's, uh, what's Biko's health like? Eh, okay. Alright, let's get on with it then. So, let's... Oh, still getting a few shots in. Can we kill another one? No, apparently not. Oh, there's some pemmican there. That needs to be unforbidden. And the bow. Unforbid that. Oh, that, look at that poor wog. Let's set that to be hunted. Is it? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Echidna. Oh, are you worth saving? Can do everything. Psychically dull. Industrious nudist. Oh, a 21-year-old nudist that works her, works her ass off and never gets miserable. Oh, hell yeah, we're saving her. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Please let there be somebody close by. No, they've run away. Oh, man. Natalie. You'll do. Natalie, come and save this poor woman. Save Echidna. Or capture Echidna, anyway. 
There we go. Boom. So that's a couple of more girls that we hopefully recruit into the uh, into the colony, which would be very very good news because we got we got way too many guys. Let's say we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've only got six girls. We definitely need more girls. Severe. Oh, all right. Severe illness. Uh, oh, Toby. What? What's? What's up, Toby? He's got extreme flu. His immunity is nine percent, though. He definitely needs um, to be fed. He's got freaking malnutrition. Totally joy deprived. Yeah, he's because he's been wandering around in a daze or something. That's not good. Um, is somebody treating it? I th I assume like somebody's going to be treating him. Let's have a look. He's consuming a lavish meal. He's consuming. Is anybody treating him? For God's sake, what's Sky doing? This guy. This guy's down there. He's building. He's gone off to build a slate wall. No, don't do that. Go and freaking treat Toby. Uh, well, apparently he doesn't... Has he been treated? I thought he was untreated. So, uh, where are we? Health. No, 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 no. Has, no, he has been treated. Next treatment is in 11 hours. Okay, well, all right. fair enough then. But our, our new prisoners, Biko and Echidna, we need to get these guys set up. So, right, let's get you... Yes, you can have medicine and... Uh, we're going to try and recruit you and Echidna the same you can have medicine and we want to recruit you it's going to be very difficult to recruit them but we'll give it a try I think it's worth the effort to recruit them uh, I do need to put a vent in here as well I'm going, to, I'm going to get that put in while I think about it vent and flip it around there, there we go, cool okay, cool well, that's good. Another couple of uh, recruits. If we can get them recruited, which we will do eventually, that's going to be awesome. How are we doing for Plasteel? Oh, we kidna can walk, so that's good. And they're in fairly nice rooms, so they shouldn't be too upset about being in here. Good. All right. Um... What's getting done? What's getting done? Oh, they're putting this wall in. That's good. They were. Oh, they've got. Oh, they're bringing all the stuff for this. I was. Uh, I was interested in plastic, wasn't I? How much plastic have we got? No. Nope. Um, is that? That's manufactured. Oh, this is the one. Plastic. Yeah, we got four hundred. Four, almost four fifty plastic. So yeah, we got. We got plenty. Good. Let's undo that. Um, we've got loads of blocks. Don't need to worry about that. Now what? Oh, cargo pods. Some plasteel would be nice. What's this? Kibble. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll we'll get it in. Uh, where is that? Uh, it's not that far away. Oh, we've got a nice big fire going on. Boomalopes exploding. Uh, who's got diseased? Biko. Yeah, she should be fine. Is that bed any good? That bed's awful, though. That's the only problem. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get rid of these awful beds and put some decent beds in. See, that's shoddy. That's shoddy. Shoddy. Poor. Poor. Shoddy. All of these are rubbish, to be honest. I'm going to get I'm going to get all of these deconstructed and we'll build some new ones. And I'm going to get somebody decent to build them this time. It's Sky sky or arty to build them so that we get some good quality beds okay so Biko's been treated for her infection she's uh, developing her immunity it's only minor and she's already in the 40s yeah she should be fine she should be fine all right cool um we've got a storm going on we've got one of the guns is broken down so, yeah, pretty much business as usual. Right, we do need to power these. So, uh, let's get power. Power conduit. Let's run a power conduit. Uh, up there. Um, I suppose... Let's 
run it into that wall and run it across there and run it up as far as we can. That should be close enough. It's six, well, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It might just be out of range. We won't know until that gets done. Okay, right. Now we need to seal this off. So let's get that done. So let's see. Uh, where are we? Order uh, structures. Granite wall. We want a granite wall in here. But we're going to have to do this bit by bit. So let's... Um, we can do this kind of in, in twos, can't we? So let's do it like that. Yeah, that one's not connected. So, yeah. Have they done that yet? Let's have a look. Oh, oh we've finished researching mortars. Let's get uh, cryosleep caskets, I suppose. Done. All right, let's get... Uh, what, did I, what the hell was I trying to do? I was looking at the power, wasn't I? That's what I wanted to look at. Yeah, it needs to go a little bit further. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. What we'll do, we'll... Uh, orders. Let's mine that. Uh, mine that and that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so as they start to build this wall, we'll start to add on to it and get it finished off, so... They can put a section in there now. Now, this section over here they could do. But I, I kind of want them to fill this in first before we start messing around with anything else. I do want them to put that section in there. And once they've done this, we'll fill this in as well, I think. And we'll bolster this. We'll just generally reinforce this to make it very, very unattractive to want to come through here. When you've got this lovely, nice, inviting kill zone to walk into. Yep, sounds good. Oh, I, I, I'm loving this. Oh, Creepy Bammy started a social fight uh, with Brandy. Apparently they got over it. Nobody's too upset. Uh, get rid of that infection. Uh, somebody's on a food binge. Mace is on a food binge. And Bickety's on a food binge. And who needs treatment? Brandywine. That'll be the flu. That'll be the flu. Brandywine, let's have a look at your health. Um, I don't know, it's just, just bruises from that fight that she had with... Uh, I can't even remember who she had the fight with. Alright. Alright, we are getting this. We're getting this done. Right, let's carry on. This is very cool, this bit. So, let's get that in there. And put another section there in there. What the hell was that? Oh, and now we've got a psychic drone. Because if people's moods weren't bad enough... <laughs> we're going to make it worse with the psychic drone. You just know Bickety's going to have a total freak out. Um, have you still got that minigun? <laughs> I am really worried about him freaking out with that minigun. That could be really seriously not good. Bickety Bam's no longer pigging out on food. That should give him some catharsis. So we'll look at his needs. Yeah, catharsis. So yeah, I mean, he's pretty freaking ec ecstatically happy at the moment, so I'm not sure. I mean, apart from the psychic drone, he couldn't be much happier. Ate a lavish meal, tons of joy. The lavish meals should be, uh, should be, uh, we are, what? We've only got 71 bars of food in storage. Like, hang on a second, what the hell? Uh, how many meals have we got? We've got like 24 lavish meals. Well, um, we've got... Oh, we've got no meat at the moment. Oh, I need to I need to designate some animals to get hunted. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, where well, have we got some nice stuff that we can hunt? Where are all the freaking animals? Yeah. Turkeys are always good. Now yeah, we've got a few turkeys up there. Uh, anything in here? Oh, we've got some, some wild boars. Now two. Oh, we'll hunt those. What have we got over here? Boomer lives. Oh, we've got, some, we've got some deer. 
We'll definitely hunt those. Uh, ostrich, hunt. What else we got? What else we got? Turkey, hunt. Ostrich, hunt. Emu, hunt. And we do have all of this pemmican lying around over here. So we're not actually going to starve. But we do need to keep on top of it. Um, we've got kibble. Seriously, there aren't like any like, decent big groups of animals. Okay, well, it is what it is. Right, so let them get on with it. Yeah. There are some animals up here, but like not not big enough to be to warrant or going all the way up there. Um, who the hell's that? Oh, it's a dead wog. I guess we'll unforbid that. Yumi's pregnant. Oh, more husky puppies. <laughs> Sweet. Well, we've got loads more food going to be coming in fairly soon. We've got this corn that's going to be maturing fairly soon. It's 80, 87%. So, I like, vegetables not a problem. It's just keeping the meat coming in. And that door needs repairing. Um, Sky, Sky, you're up and about. Oh, oh, Sky and Nanny getting some love in. Now, so look at Nanny. Yeah, just the once. Just the once. <laughs> oh, we've got all of these corpses to cremate. Sky's getting his breakfast. Uh, no, Sky. Uh, he's going to go cloud watching. What's your... What's, uh, no, you're not going to go cloud watching. You're going to fix this blooming door. There you go. There we go. Get that done. Then if you want to go cloud watching, you can go cloud watching. But that was his joy time. What are you off to do now? Oh, they're finishing off the last few slate tiles. Whoa! Yes! Finally, guys, we've got a combat supplier. Oh, freaking awesome. Oh, man. You know what, guys? We're going we're gonna to leave this episode here. Combat suppliers are really sweet. You're going to want to see that. So you know what? Come back for the next episode. We are going to be doing we are going to be flying when we talk to this guy. So uh, so yeah, come back for the next episode and uh, see what we get. Peace out. <laughs>